And welcome back to Let's Play Goblin's Quest 3. I'm your Let's Player Wadball, and we've come back to the world, crazy world of Goblin's 3, with our characters Blount and Chump. Oh god, uh, it's been so long since I played this game. Well, let's take a look around at what we've got. See, Chump is being his annoying self, dancing around and being a complete idiot. What does that mean, a springy stone? Let's see what happens. Ah! Huh. There seem to be a lot of springy stones around here. Wait, I don't understand what my purpose is to do. Oh wait, I gotta read Goblin News to figure that one out. Death becomes you. Visit the land of death via Werewolf Bite Incorporated. Finding love. Upon arrival, I found that I was not welcome. The guards were very rude to me and beat me with their weapons. The only thing that I found worthwhile here is the beautiful Winona. She is the girl of my dreams. I want her to be mine. Oh, that sounds like crazy stalker talk there. Well, it seems like we gotta be a knight in shining armor, so... Well, time to take out the guards. Let's see if there's any way we can... Wow, that was a pretty quick answer. Hey, he looks like he's got an infinite supply of aspirin. Alright, fine. I'm gonna beat him up and see what happens. I don't have a reason to hit him yet. Oh, come on. That's just stupid. Why? Why? Why would you think that? Why would you think that something like this would be appropriate, you know? Not having, not having the will to hit him like that? Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we need to pick up that umbrella that we got that dropped from the boat there. Well, what's this hot air thing? Huh. Lots of currents coming in there. It seems like we can use those currents to ride them if we're light like Chump. Or maybe we can use cartoon physics to our advantage. Let's use the umbrella on the hot air and see what happens. Huh, that's weird. Well, I flew up and now I'm up here and... Hey, I still can't click on the girl. If his objective is to try to get to the girl, then... Oh, I see. We gotta use the uh, other part of cartoon physics here. Maybe if we go through the crevice, we'll pop out in that ear and talk to uh, Winona and figure out what it is that she's done in order to deserve this uh, captivity. Maybe she's a criminal. Maybe she's a terrorist. Who knows? Okay, Blount, she's not even that pretty. Why are you doing this? Oh, I suppose Blount hasn't met too many girls there. Alright, he's flying here. Why did he need to use the barrel to fall off the boat if he could just fly and jump over clouds? Uh. She's a prisoner. I must find a way to free her. Anything else I need to know about her? I have to get past all these guards in order to free her. Well... As with any Sierra game, violence is the only solution, since these guys don't seem to be very good at acknowledging negotiations, diplomacy, whatever. That's enough. Clear the road, please. Wham. Oh, man. Can't believe I gotta do this again. Yeah, I know. It's, it's really weird, and I really don't want to have to beat you guys up, but... Well... Well... Let's hope we're not charmed and hope it works again. Hey, Blount must be pretty strong if these goblins aren't coming back down. Well, that's weird. Okay. Alright, Mac. You're gonna get your wish and get hit by... Oh! 
Jeez, the guy's faster than Blount is. If I give you a coin, will you let me pass? Wham, wham. More aspirin for Blount. Ugh, terrible, terrible, terrible. So what exactly should I do here? Oh wait, he mentioned if I give you a coin, will you let me pass? Goblins seem kind of stupid. Why don't we just give him a coin and see what happens? Wait, he's just looking at it. Oh, don't go... Don't get upset. I was just joking. Oh, wait. Is that what I'm supposed to do? He seems to get very distracted by that coin. Maybe if I just use it on him and then just hit him while he's looking at the coin. Ah, uh, reaction's a little bit slower when you're uh, looking at a coin there, right? Ah, uh, yeah, the joys, the joys of being distracted. The joys of being distracted. Well, that's a nice thing. Okay, let's see what happens. Pick up the coin here. Let's, uh, talk to Banzai. I could put crumbs down his back. Wait, why exactly would we need to put crumbs? You know what? Thanks to- thanks to Chump, I know there's a- there's a path behind, uh, Banzai here. We can just hit him from behind. Stand on the rock and just hit him. Ah, oh, jeez, he's like a Hugo. It's like he did a gun, and now he's got eyes in the back of his head. Well, we need crumbs. Do we have anything in our inventory that resembles crumbs? We got pepper, but pepper, I don't know. He said he needs to dump crumbs down his back. Pepper's probably not going to do the trick. What the heck is this? Why is there a random piece of toasted bread in the middle of the road like that? Uncivilized goblins. Haven't you ever heard of a pantry? Well, how do I make cr bread crumbs? We gotta crush it somehow. I could use the helmet to create crumbs. They would be very useful. Well, let's see. If I use a toasted bread on the helmet, what happens? He just drops it in there. Well, that's no help. How am I supposed to make crumbs? Oh, I gotta smash it up, don't I? Uh, I think the I think the uh, golf club can do the trick here. Let's pick up the crumbs. Wait, he just picked up one speck. That that doesn't make much sense. We did all that work to make breadcrumbs and he picks up one speck? That's just stupid. So what is this breadcrumbs thing? Oh wait, now there are more than one? Wait, on the picture it looked like he took just one speck and then now he's got like a whole bunch of them? It's like the laws of physics don't matter to these goblins. I guess we better follow the same pattern as we did. We dump crumbs down his back and he's scratching. Maybe he's distracted and won't be able to hit Blount while he's uh, looking away there. Well, I guess it's time to uh, arm Blount. Let's see if we can pick up the shield. What's this? This is a random hand? That's just weird. 